Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using Kani's method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. This is a one story and two bay frame. Length of the columns are 4 meter. Length of the span BC and CE are also 4 meter. The moment of inertia for the columns is 3i. The moment of inertia for the beams is I. In the columns, there are no loads. In the spans BC and CE, there are point loads 20 kN acting in the center. This is a symmetrical frame. The line of symmetry passes through the middle column. From the line of symmetry, we can separate this frame into two parts. Let us take the left side and do the analysis. In the column CD, there will be no rotation. So, we can assume that the point C is fixed. You can see that I have assumed the point C is fixed. Now, let us find the fixed end moments. In the column AB, there is no load, so the fixed end moments will be 0. In the column BC, we have a point load acting in the center. Using these formulas, we can find the fixed end moments. Now, let us find the stiffness in the joint B. First, let us find for BA. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point A. In the point A, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula for the stiffness is 4EA upon L. Length of BA is 4. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for BA is 3I. So, instead of I, we have to apply 3I. Finally, for the stiffness of BA, we are getting 3EI. Now let us find the stiffness for BC. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point C. In the point C, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4EI upon L. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. For the stiffness of BC, we are getting EI. Now let us find sigma k. For that we have to add these two values. After adding we are getting 4 ei. Now let us find the rotation factor. The formula is minus 1 upon 2 k upon sigma k. We have calculated the values of k and sigma k. Using the formula we can find the rotation factors. In the joint B, we have to make a rectangle like this. Let us enter the fixed end movements. M of AB here, M of BA here, M of BC here and M of CB here. In the joint B, we have to add the fixed end movements. When we add them, we will get minus 10. Now let us enter the rotation factors. The rotation factor for BA is minus 0.375 and the rotation factor for BC is minus 0.125. In the joint B, we have to find two rotation contributions M dash BA and M dash BC. The formula to find the rotation contribution is Summation of rotation contributions at a fair end plus summation of fixed end movements into rotation factor. For the joint B, the fair ends are the point A and the point C. In the points A and C, there are fixed supports. In the fixed support, the rotation contribution will be zero. So, for the summation of rotation contributions at a fair end, we have 0 plus 0. The summation of fixed end movements is minus 10. Then let us apply the rotation factors. After the calculation, we are getting M dash BA and M dash BC. 
let us apply the values of m dash b a and m dash b c in this analysis we can do only one cycle now we are going to calculate the final movements the formula to find the final movements is fixed end movement plus 2 into rotation contribution at near end plus rotation contribution at fair end let us make a table in the table first let us enter all of the members then let us enter the fixed end movements then let us enter 2 into near end contributions in the points a and c there are fixed supports in the fixed ends the rotation contribution will be zero so for a b and c b it is zero for b a the rotation contribution is 3.75 for b c it is 1.25 now let us enter the fair end rotation contributions for AB the fair end is BA in BA the contribution is 3.75 for BA the fair end is AB in AB the contribution is 0 for BC the fair end is CB in CB the contribution is 0 for CB the fair end is BC in BC the contribution is 1.25 now let us find the final movements for that we have to add these three values after adding we are getting the final movements we have calculated the movements on the left side now let us find the movements on the right side the values of the movements on the left side and right side will be same but they will be in the opposite directions to find the movements on the right side we have to just change the sign of these movements when we do that we are getting the movements on the right side due to the symmetrical nature of the frame in the column CD there will be no movement here you can see the bending movement diagram now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.